الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام على نبینا محمد وعلى علی وصحبه وسلم اما برحبت في الله I was reflecting on the ni'mah of Talib al-ilm and thinking about it and having the desire and the craving to be able to go back and be able to sit in those halaqat al-ilm wa fiqh wa khair and those gatherings of the righteous and those gatherings of the people who will be callers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their various countries and localities. And I was thinking about the glory days, if you will, of those days in Medina or the times in Yemen and those great ni'am from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I'd like to offer this very humble advice to those people who are seeking knowledge in uh, Medina and Mecca and Riyadh or in Egypt or in Maghrib, Morocco or Mauritania or wherever they may be seeking knowledge or in Yemen or wherever they may be and have the opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored you over much of his creation to seek knowledge. And this is a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So make 1000% use of your time and of that na'ma and of that great blessing and benefit. Because so many people went to seek knowledge who Allah didn't favor and give them tawfiq to gain much of anything. Some people didn't gain anything. I know people who left, sat with some of the major scholars and even left Islam. And so Al-Hidayah min Allah Azza wa Jal. And those who are already on this path to where they just are sitting in gatherings of ilm where they're seeing students from all over the world, from China, from Japan, from Uzbekistan, from Nigeria, from Somalia, from various places in Ethiopia, from uh, Pakistan, from India, from Bangladesh, and they are in the gatherings of brotherhood seeking knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have a ni'ma min ni'amillah tabarak wa ta'ala. So gain that benefit and make connections with your brothers because those brothers are going to be some of the future mashayikh maybe in their countries, the future du'at al khair in their countries, and the future. Uh, carriers of Islam if Allah grants them tawfiq because not everyone who studies does da'wah and has a tawfiq to, to remain in uh, a position of khair so this is very important so this is a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you've got to thank Allah constantly and make use of your time because this is a way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is blessing you and giving you tawfiq to seek paradise. Because the Salaf used to say, Talib al-ilm, Talib al-jannah. That seeking knowledge is seeking jannah. Or the, the, the student of knowledge is the one seeking, seeking paradise. Because if they are doing it with a correct intention to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to remove the ignorance from themselves, to better themselves and their families and perhaps their communities, then this is nothing but khair. But if they're doing it just because they want a job and they, they're going to gain money from it or they're going to gain this, well, then they won't get the same benefit. And perhaps if it's for fame and other things of the dunya, it can actually be a punishment. The Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith of Umar bin al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, إِنَّمَا عَمَالُ بِالنِّيَاتِ وَإِنَّمَا لِكُلْ لِمْرِيَنْ مَنَاوَ فَمَنْ كَانَ هِجْتُ وَلَاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِي فَهِجْتُ وَلَاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِي وَمَنْ كَانَ هِجْتُ لِلْدُّنْيَا يُصِيبَهَا أَوْ إِمْرَأَةٍ يَنْكِحُهَا فَهِجْتُ وَلَمَا هَجْرَا إِلَيْهِ أَخْرَجَاهُ In this hadith in Bukhari and Muslim, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily actions are tied to the intentions. And everyone shall get that for which he intended. Therefore, he who migrates for Allah and his messenger, then he is migrated for Allah and his messenger. And he who migrates to take 
uh, for some worldly gain or to take some woman in marriage, then he will get that for which he intended. So that lets us know if your intention is to remove the ignorance from yourself and to humble yourself and better yourself as a human being, better yourself as a Muslim, better yourself as a believer, seek drawing nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're going to get the maximum reward. And that's the ultimate khayr. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Man bi So one of the nataj from the nataj from the benefits is that uh, of seeking knowledge and being on that steep path, because it's not an easy path. It's not an easy path. That that steep path, it's a sign that Allah wants good for you. It's a sign that Allah wants good for you, especially if you are blessed to actually gain some knowledge and you're actually blessed to gain some fiqh, some understanding of the religion and some basira, some insight into the religion. If, if Allah favors you with that, no one can take that from you. And if Allah favors you with that, that's a sign He wants good for you. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, he gives him fiqh, understanding of the religion. And there's so much to that fiqh fi deen. Another thing that we have to reflect upon, Ahabat Tafillah, is the fact that not only this, this great ni'mah and all of the beauty and the leather that you're experiencing daily, why people are dreaming and reading about translations and getting translations of this, you're sitting in those halaqat. You're sitting in the durus of Sheikh Abdul Masan al abad if you maybe are living in Medina and, the, you know, frequenting the haram. You're sitting in the durus of, uh, you know, uh, the many ulama of Ahl Sunnah there in, in Medina. What a ni'mah. You, you, maybe you go catch Sheikh Suleiman al-Rahali on his way to the masjid or you maybe you live by him or Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab al-Aqil or whoever from the many mashayikh of Ahl Sunnah there in Medina what a ni'mah min ni'amillah so you have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have kathra to shukr lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala showing the gratefulness and spreading the khair and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said man salaka tariqan Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to Jannah. And this is why Talib al Ilm, Talib al Jannah, because you're ultimately Talib al Ilm should be to remove the ignorance from yourself, to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, learning the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why it's, it's Talib al Jannah, it's seeking paradise. That's ultimately it. It's not seeking fame. It's not seeking to be heard. It's not seeking to be on the YouTube. It's not seeking to be on social media. It's not seeking to get married. It's not seeking this. But subhanAllah, it is seeking Jannah if your intention is pure. And so as, as I mentioned, مَنْ سَلَقَ تَرِيكًا يَلْتَلْمَسَهُ بِهِ عَلْمًا سَحَلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ تَرِيكًا الْجَنَّةً So one of the uh, benefits of seeking knowledge on that steep path that you've embarked on is Allah will make easy for you the path to paradise. Because you'll have fiqh and basira, you have ilm, you'll know the haram will halal, you'll know how to, to go and, and you don't need to blind follow people and have ta'asab and blind prejudice towards individuals and, and even the scholars, but rather you'll have some tools to be able to practice and draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then you'll be educated enough so you can ask the scholars educated questions. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fasal ahli dhikri in kuntum la ta'lamun. Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. But you'll know something if you seek knowledge. So this is just a reminder for my brothers and sisters, uh, my brothers and, and sisters be in Allah Ta'ala that are on that path that are learning sisters in Egypt, sisters in Morocco, sisters wherever they're learning, and learning the Arabic language and learning, and maybe they're in the halaqat al-ilm as well. Doing talibat al-ilm. It's the same. And the same ni'mah. And the same leather, and the same khair, only it's sisterhood instead of brotherhood. So this is khair adim. So if Allah has favored you with that, thank Him much and go forward strong. Do not let the people destroy you 
and destroy your intention and distract you from khair. Gain the benefit uh, and strive. Those who wish to embark on that path who have not, then I encourage you at some point in your life, have a strong intention to learn more about your religion and to go forth on the path of knowledge because there is nothing as beautiful as that path. And even as we get older and we miss that path and we have responsibilities, we still make dua that Allah gives us a chance to sit for another uh, bit of time here or sit here or sit in this, uh, some durus here. You know, that we, we crave that because that is a ni'mah when you can make tafarag. If you can make where you can sit and only seek knowledge, meaning you don't have to work. That is a great na'mah. Because when you have to do talab al-am and you work, that's a, that maybe the reward is greater, perhaps. But generally the fa'idah, it's much more difficult to attain. Especially if you're doing work that's totally against your talab al-am, totally against, uh, not the deen, but meaning that it totally distracts you from talab al and doing and and, and 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 even can distract you in your ibadah or or uh and all kind of other things so make that intention to one day be able to taste some of that leather that the brothers who were in egypt and morocco and who went to yemen and who in saudi arabia and, and qatar and wherever they go to seek knowledge that you can taste some of that and experience some of that because there's nothing like that. And to see the humbleness of the ulama. And especially if you're favored to be in a place that's simple and humble without distractions, that gives you a different kind of appreciation. And may Allah grant us success. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.